Thank you. Okay, next is Aisha Morris from UNAVCO, uh, speaking about the National Association of Black Geoscientists. Okay, thanks Val. Um, so I didn't do a title slide. My name is Aisha Morris. I work at UNAVCO. Uh, we're a facility just down the road from your hotel. You may have driven by it. I don't know which route you took. Um, but one of the things that we do is support students in participating in REUs and research experiences. And in my role there, I get to go to all these conferences that everyone's talking about. So I go to SACNIS, I go to ACES, um, I go to NABG. And in um, more recent years, I've gotten a little more plugged into NABG because it's a, an organization that was developed to support black geoscientists. And not just black geoscientists, it's all geoscientists, particularly minority geoscientists. Um, and it was started in the Houston and Dallas area by folks who were in the oil and gas industry. So there was a little bit of an oil and gas focus at the beginning. But they've kind of expanded into all um, arenas of the geosciences. It was originally um, National Association of Black Geologists and Geophysicists, and now it's geoscientists. So it's a very welcoming, open organization for anyone who's in, essentially, NSF Geo. So the major goals of NABG um, involve supporting minority students and professionals who are in the geosciences. So uh, some of the activities that they do, informing students of opportunities um, and providing support for, for preparing applications. So that's applications to your program. So if you communicate with NABG, then we can advertise your programs and uh, to the, the student population that we have in the organization. It's not a huge organization yet. <laughs> We're working on it. Um, also, NABG provides scholarships, so there are a few scholarships that are dedicated to students who are members. Um, they actually try to track the educational and professional careers of the scholarship recipients, and that's actually something that I think is a little bit easier said than done in this organization because it's such a communal group that students who have participated for years come back and they come back as mentors, they come back as professionals, and so it's actually not super difficult to track the students who have been um, participants in NABG. Um, also, one of the goals is to help students finding summer employment. So if students are interested in industry or in government, there are pe professionals in the organization who are members of all these different government, all these different sectors of the workforce. Ooh. And um, <laughs> and so the, the professionals really try to help uh, match up students with opportunities. Um, and also help the professionals fill intern opportunities. Um, and one of the really neat things about NABG, again, is that there is this professional network that's been developed for the people who, have, um, who are members of the organization. So one of the really cool things, um, in this picture on the left, we have two former recess interns, John Braswell and Dada Olamid who have both, um, they went through the recess internship program when Val was actually running it. And they're now professionals in the oil and gas industry. And they're talking to an undergraduate student from Tuskegee University, one of the HBCUs, um, about their experiences and about different opportunities in the geosciences. And so they're mentoring her. And um, as Lena mentioned at any, I think it was last night when we were talking, so Dada and John are, you know, they're pretty early in their professional careers, but they are also seeking mentors and working with mentors who are in, oh, um, who are in the, uh, who are more senior in the geosciences. So there are lots of opportunities for students. They can get funding. The annual conference is usually the week after Labor Day, so it was just two weeks ago. Lots of scholarship opportunities for students. They have the opportunity to work with professionals from, as I mentioned, a variety of employment sectors. That's Crystal. She was an intern this past year and the previous year with Recess. She's talking to the past president of NABG about her research. So it's, I mean, it's a very well done professional technical conference that students can um, both see role models and interact with those role models. Um, and also, lots of opportunities to connect with students, and they form a really long-term support network of people who have similar backgrounds and experiences in the geosciences. So if you have questions, I'm happy to talk to you more. Uh, two minutes went really fast, so. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> I have to say, I love the, this meeting. It's the warmest, welcome, most welcoming meeting that I have 
been to. Maybe this one aside. <laughs> um, and uh, I recommend going as well. It's very welcoming. Um, I want to, I asked before we go to the next speaker, um, over the past week I asked uh, a handful of former recess interns to actually speak about um, this, this meeting because it just happened. And uh, one of them sent a video, a little two minute or so video, uh, and I just want to play it for you. We'll see, hopefully the audio works. And this is uh, Nathan Mathabani. Um, and he is, so he was in the recess program and internship, and he now works at Princeton University where he was an undergraduate. He's an admissions officer, um, having done a master's degree in, in the geosciences. And um, just a heads up, he refers to the NABGG, which is the old name for it. Now it's NABG because they broadened it. And he also called it, it was interesting, NABGA, which I'd never heard of. <laughs> Nathan Matabani. Uh, I am a geologist by training and a member of the National Association of Black Geologists and Geoscientists. Um, it was one of my main professional organizations while I was in grad school and an undergraduate. Um, I have a master's in geoscience with an emphasis in geomorphology and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about scientific societies, uh, identity societies, and kind of their role in general in your professional development and personal development. Um, NABGA uh, was a very important organization for me. I went to their main meeting when I was in Houston and met a lot of uh, like-minded, really interested in supportive geologists of color, which as you know is not very common in the uh, field of geology. Um, but more importantly, just beyond the conference and the contacts that it offered me in the organization, um, it really put me in touch with a lot of other um, people in the field of geosciences, not necessarily geologists of color, but just people who were kind of allies in that profession and um, Another organization, MSPhD, is Minority Striving and Pursuing Degrees in Higher Education, which ultimately, through many avenues, led me to my current position, um, that of being an administrator at Princeton University. So I just, I just want to re-emphasize the importance of societies like the National Association of Black Geologists and Geoscientists, not only for their immediate kind of conference offerings and, of course, the awesome science that you'll be doing when you go to those conferences, but more importantly, the relationships that you form when you meet other people who are kind of look like you and go through some of the same stuff that you do when um, pursuing their degrees. And the relationships that you form uh, during those meetings that you keep thereafter are actually much stronger than what most people will be able to um, encounter at meetings like GSA or AGU. Um, the meetings of NAPCA are going to be much smaller and much more intimate in terms of the relationships formed. So definitely 100% throw your head headlong, meet as many people as you can through these organizations because they are far and away some of the most important professional contacts that you'll make and they're definitely the reason why I am where I am today, very happily employed uh, at Princeton. So definitely don't be afraid and meet as many people as you can. Thank you, Nathan. Wasn't it a flower? 